Hello, all you crafters. This is Evelyn here. Uh, thank you for joining me. I just want to quickly share with you a project that I've been doing for a while now. Um, Ultra candy uh, boxes, which uh, are purchased in uh, store-bought candy boxes. I uh, like to collect them. I have a few of them. Every year, we get candy boxes uh, for Valentine's Day. And I just want to show you what to do, how to recycle them, basically. Um, these are a few. These are some small ones. I've had these for a very long time. When my children were small, they would go and kind of pick these up at uh, our CVS or Walgreens here in Florida. They were about a dollar. You can also get them and pick them up in the supermarket for a dollar in the, the uh, public store, the public store here. And what I basically do is I just cover them in paper. This one I don't think I... This one I did uh, paint on the inside and on the sides. But you, they're very easy, very easy to do. And from there you can just decorate it. Like I said, these two are really small. And I've had these two uh, for a while. Here's one that I've been working on. This is a bigger one. This one is about eight and a half inches. I covered it in gesso. I do have something in mind for this. And uh, like I said, I just recycle the, the real sturdy ones because there are different different types. You have to make sure that they're very sturdy. Uh, at least those are the ones that I like. Here are some that I've made in the past. This one is the one that I made last year. And as you can see, I mean, I painted the back. I added paper to it. This was a Winnie the Pooh uh, theme box that I made. I mean, you could do it for Valentine's Day. Basically, you could do it for any holiday, uh, as long as you have the box. Uh, this, like I said, a Winnie the Pooh one, and I added some appliques and glitter and flowers to it. Here is the inside, which was also painted. This one, for example, there are some that have like little, um, like little. I would say like little cupcake liners in them but others you will find that actually have these dividers now this one I was red I spray painted it I spray painted it white and I, my intention was to put buttons in the dividers this is a, a box that I'm keeping for myself I still have to redo the inside it's been a year now and I still haven't done it but I'll get to it and this is the back of the box but they're quite cute like for a swap or for your own uh, purposes in your craft room just to store things this is another one I've been working on this one for probably a year and a half maybe more and I'm still working on it I put it down and I pick it back up and in this one I did a retro themed I put some of you know my base my my, my best laces on it I added flowers that I love the images that I love two kittens in a sewing uh, basket and here I added a, a bobbin I have not finished it and I'll show you the inside this one also is a very sturdy heavy box I did the sides with paper the inside I painted and uh, these are a few things that I still have to um, include in the front of the box. The inside of the box, I did line it. I put lace, uh, some trim, some uh, thin trim, and here is the box. Uh, here is the back. So as far as um, getting the boxes, like I said, now is now is the time to get your boxes. They are available. I saw some. I went to Target the other day and they had some uh, boxes there. Um, you know, you could store the candy, freeze the candy, eat the candy, give it to your husband, give it to your children, if you can't have candy. But in any event, the boxes are really cute and you could do so many things with them. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, hopefully you guys, if you do ultra uh, candy box, just um, let me know because I would be very interested in seeing it. So thank you all for watching.